a hundred million penthouse, a two hundred million golf course empire, and a billion in political campaigns. These are six ways of how Donald Trump spends his billions. Real Estate When you think of Donald Trump, the word that should come to your mind is power. Everything he owns exemplifies the huge wealth of Trump. Best believe he has buildings named after him, which compares to nothing since he is the first billionaire to enter the White House. Starting from high-rise properties as Trump Tower in New York, 721 Fifth Avenue, which is a 58-story tower. This building was finished in 1983 and accounts for a major part of his real estate investment. It is estimated that Trump Tower's worth is over $500 million for the location, as well as for the fact that it represents his image. Located in it is the penthouse which illustrates Trump's extravagant preferences. Situated on the 66th floor, it boasts interior design of gold-plated items including fixtures, marble floor, and furnishings which are the definition of luxurious. The penthouse is still believed to be worth $100 million, owing to its strategic position on top of the building and its interior design. The building is also the headquarters for the Trump Organization, and Mr. Trump and his family live on the building's top floors. In addition to this, the properties in which Trump has stakes include luxury hotels and resorts. The old post office pavilion building in Washington, known as the Trump International Hotel, was a $200 million renovation plan and is among his trademark hospitality projects. Likewise, Trump's Mar-a-Lago estate in Palm Beach, Florida, which he bought in the year 1985 for $10 million, was estimated to be worth more than $300 million in the recent past. This property has been used as a family home and as a venue for the Elite Members Only Club. His properties value to more than a billion, and that's how he likes to show off his wealth. Nevertheless, apart from these iconic buildings, Trump owns other buildings that are commercial as well as residential in Chicago, Las Vegas, San Francisco, Ireland, and Scotland, among many others. For example, the Trump International Hotel and Tower in Chicago costs approximately $300 million on appraisal, while his New York City properties alone account for more than $1 billion of his net worth. Trump also owns an estate on the Caribbean island of St. Martin, called Le Chateau du Palmier, for $15.5 million. So it's no surprise that his wealth is centered around his commercial real estate holdings, which were worth an estimated $1.9 billion, owning properties left to right. Do you think that's going a bit overboard? Just wait till you see how Trump likes to play that makes other billionaires look frugal in comparison golf courses, and luxurious transport. When it comes to golf courses, Trump doesn't just play the game, he owns it. Luxury isn't just a feature, it is a standard and is quite evident in the number of golf courses around the world he owns. Trump owns 18 golf courses and played golf almost 300 times during his presidency. From the rolling greens of Scotland to the sun-soaked fairways of Florida, he has it all. Among them, Trump International Golf Club in West Palm Beach, Florida, has been estimated to be worth $50 million. And Trump Turnberry Open in Scotland, a course acquired for about $60 million of cash. Despite these successes, sustaining and developing these kinds of courses implies a steady drain of some tens of millions of dollars annually. But of course, Mr. Trump knows only the best when it comes to the means of transportation in terms of splendid and luxurious cars. His garage is full of some of the finest automobiles, from a Rolls-Royce Phantom worth millions to a Bentley Mulsanne costing $700,000 to a Mercedes-Benz 3600. These are not the only ways of commuting for someone in power, but also a sign of his socio-economic status. Trump also bought his wife, Melania Trump, a $455,000 SLR McLaren. This also includes five aircraft which he owns, which are as luxurious as the life he leads. For example, Trump's Boeing 727, which he renamed Trump Force One during the 2016 election, which he purchased from Microsoft co-founder Paul Allen in 2010. 
Trump claims to have spent $100 million on this ride, though operating expenses for a plane this size total roughly $8,000 to $13,000 per hour. After purchasing it from Allen, Trump spent $10 million on renovations, including adding gold seat belt buckles, gold service buttons, and a 24-carat gold-plated sink. The jet is also equipped with a state-of-the-art multimedia system and plush leather chairs for lounging. But Trump's financial influence doesn't stop at real estate or cars and golf courses. He has also poured millions into political campaigns, fueling his rise to the highest office in the land. Political Campaigns Trump not only ran for the presidency of the United States, he made political investments. He spends millions and millions of dollars in the political arena, the money equivalent to hundreds of Hollywood blockbuster movie budgets, and this is an indication of his relentless and rising trend in the costs of campaign financing. In the course of his campaign for presidency in 2016, Trump went all out. He plunged into his pockets quite literally. He spent roughly $66 million of his own cash on the campaign, an expense that included all aspects of the campaign, from colorful campaign events to hysterical ad wars. The overall advertising expense in the Trump campaign that year was above $600 million, an illustration of the intensities of the quest to occupy the White House. His ability to pay for the whole process was a tactical decision to represent himself as a leader who is not looking for favors from patrons, which political candidates usually do. Fast forward to 2020, and Trump's spending went up to the roof, as tabulated below. His campaign and various political committees spent approximately $1.1 billion. This did not go, of course, merely into signs, but into a storm of TV ads. Over $200 million were spent to persuade voters in selected battleground states, held every other day or so, each costing over $1 million. He turned every event into a rally spectacle. The colossal number proved the fact that the election is really a battleground and there are very huge risks involved. Well, if anything, Donald Trump teaches a lesson well. Financial stakes are just as high in the courtroom as they are on the campaign trail. Legal Expenses Donald Trump's court cases have been as grandiose and risk-filled as his career in politics and property development, yet they have also been just as expensive. Immersed in various legal cases, investigations, and controversies, Trump spent tens of millions of dollars on lawyers to make it theatrical. That is why the years 2019 and 2020 stand out in the rapidly developing Trump legal finances. The firms and affiliates of the Trump Organization required over $20 million for these years of legal expenses only. The amount provides for legal protection against personal lawsuits and all the activities connected up to the businesses that make up his empire. Costs can be quickly raised depending on the tactics applied, demanding much effort during the preparation of the case and gaining a strong foothold to provide a robust defense. Otherwise, a significant problem has been the probes into his political and business affairs. The Mueller investigation that delved into allegations of Russian meddling in the 2016 election was colossal. And even though the figures are still blurred, it is understood that Trump's legal team had to spend tens of millions of dollars in dealing with this massive probe. Well, the bills did not end there. The impeachment process of Trump and the scandals related to the Ukraine issue also contributed to his legal expenses. Donald Trump encountered a lot of legal battles while being in the presidency concerning the policies and conducts he undertook. For instance, the cost of defending the administration's travel ban and other contentious decisions meant that a lot of money was needed. These legal battles, alongside investigations into his endeavors since he left office, have kept his lawyers on their toes and their costs high. Another area with above-average spending 
has been in the area of settlements. In the past years, Trump has entered into various kinds of settlements in relation to some of the lawsuits filed against him, with some of them being mind-boggling. For instance, the Trump University case, which was taken to court in a class action suit, was settled at $25 million. Such settlements, although provide a way out towards the resolution of a legal conflict, also cost a hefty bill. With Trump's legal battles costing a fortune, you might wonder how he balances the books. The answer? By living a lifestyle as lavish as his courtroom dramas. All things luxury. It may not be much of a surprise, but when it comes to spending his billions, Donald Trump certainly knows how to make a splash, uh, sometimes quite literally, and even some eyebrow-raising purchases. In 2013, Trump decided that a portrait of himself was worth $60,000, and not a plain one at that. The portrait was painted by William Quigley. But the real twist, it was earlier alleged by Trump's former lawyer Michael Cohen that money from the Donald J. Trump Foundation charity was used to finance it. This is truly a case of getting your money's worth, especially when it is technically not your money. Now, for somebody who adores being in the limelight, grooming of his hair is of paramount importance. Some of the enormous expenditures of President Donald J. Trump includes him spending $70,000 on hair styling, according to a publication by the New York Times in 2017. More intriguing, he was able to take this as a tax deduction. It turns out that performing that signature hairstyle doesn't come cheap. Trump himself is more flamboyantly dressed using fine fabrics, fine tailor-made best business suits, and fine materials. His suits cost from $6,000 to $17,000, for which he mostly sources from the Italian fashion house of Brioni. So much did he like the brand that the man opted to start wearing suits from the company during the shooting of The Apprentice without tailoring. But what is Trump's extravagance? It involves not only the latest fashion and art names. In 1987, Trump purchased a 282-foot mega-yacht from the Sultan of Brunei for $29 million and named it Trump's Princess. That was not enough. Trump added $10 million on improvements to the property. Unfortunately, the Trump princess was liquefied by handing over to creditors by 1991. This is not to mention even his youngest child's schooling. Barron goes to the Oxbridge Academy in Palm Beach, and tuition there costs $35,000 a year. So be it the ground, the sea, or the fashion ramp, it is not the most conventional characteristic of Trump's extravagant spree. Yet it doesn't end here because his generous donations are no less. Giving to Charity What can be said about the philanthropic profile of the United States President Donald Trump is as exaggerated as his way of life. Spectacular generosity accompanied by a few questionable deductible expenses. In 2020, Trump reported around $130 million in charitable contributions over two decades. But here's the kicker. Nearly $119.3 million of that came from deductions tied to his real estate empire. Properties such as the Seven Springs Estate in New York and the Trump National Golf Club in Los Angeles were part of this philanthropic production. Facing actual donations, though, Trump has made some stabs. In 2016, he contributed $1 million to the Marine Corps Law Enforcement Foundation, a charity organization for children of deceased armed forces and police. The same year, he also contributed to a church that was flooded in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, to the tune of $100,000. A little earlier in 2009, he donated an amount slightly below $10,000 to the Police Athletic League of New York City. Still, not all of Trump's charity projects were so successful, and later was met with misfortune. 
His Donald J. Trump Foundation, which had been an instrument of fulfilling his philanthropic ambition, shut down in 2018 following an investigation by the New York Attorney General's office, which accused it of a shocking pattern of illegality. Nonetheless, Trump's charitable giving, in big gestures or in the more sophisticated tax-savvy deductions, is another interesting arc in his financial profile. However, are there other billionaires who have left Trump behind in terms of genuine generosity? Find out in this video.